Hi, creative coders. Welcome back to Coding with Katie. I'm super excited, guys, because Surfer Glitch was just added to the foos. And Surfer Glitch has a very special ability that he throws water balloons. Let's change it to the glitch. In case you haven't gotten the Surfer Glitch yet, what you can do is go to the store, click here, and tap to buy the Surfer Glitch. Today, we're going to create a game where we throw balloons at evil robots. So, when we first have the glitch, he has one command already in his arsenal. Throw. Let's try it out. So now let's build out some of the level. I'm gonna place some blocks here and here. It's gonna be a little bit of platforming, a little bit of dodging, a little bit of throwing water balloons. Now, we need somebody to throw water balloons at. Let's drag and drop my personal favorite, Daryl. His code is on play, he moves left and right, and he waits between moving. I'm gonna change that code. What I want him to do now is throw two energy balls, one after the other. I want him to move to the left. I'm gonna change this variable to left. Then I'm gonna drag and drop the zap command. Daryl will move to the left and throw an energy ball and another energy ball. Go to the right and throw an energy ball and another energy ball. So you might have noticed that throw an energy ball has a variable on it. You might find that having an enemy shoot out five energy balls or more energy balls at the same time might make for a more difficult or a more compelling level. So you can try it out yourself. So I can duplicate him. Now if you'll notice, Daryl has the same code. Even if I make a new Daryl, he shares the same code with everybody else. I'm gonna drag and drop a heart up here so that if the glitch gets hit, he can regain his health by collecting the heart. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this level. I'm gonna add another heart so that if the glitch loses more health, he can get a heart here. And I'm gonna drag and drop these little spinny dudes up. Daryl has his own name. These spinny dudes are just spinny dudes. Now you see the spinny dude already has code. Since the spinny dude is in this vertical space, I'm gonna make him go up three times and down three times. So these guys are gonna go up and down in their little columns. Let's hit play and see how it runs. All right, so I'm the glitch. Daryl's are already throwing energy balls. Oh no. So what I want to happen is when I throw a water balloon and when a water balloon hits Daryl, I want Daryl to disappear. So let's click on Daryl. I'm going to scroll the coding tray up, tap the plus button, and add an event. On bump event. I'm gonna change the variable to the tire. This means when Daryl is hit by an object, like a tire, or in this case, a water balloon, he's going to get squished. All the Daryls have this code. I'm gonna add it to the spinny dudes too. I'm gonna scroll up. Oh, they already have this code, but they have when hit by the player, depending on the direction they're hit at, they will either get squish or do damage to the player. We're going to change their code to be exactly like Daryl's. When hit by an object, get squished. Now I want to add one more thing to this level, and that is a final boss. I'm going to add a row of blocks to separate the front of the level from the end of the level. And then at the end of the level, I'm going to add some Daryls. I'm going to add lots of Daryls, and I'm going to put them in this little pattern. Because Daryl floats, he's not going to fall down. So these guys will stay in this vertical pattern and I'm gonna move the star a little bit over. Perfect. Let's hit play. We got the star, we got the glitch. There's some water balloons. I hit a Daryl, hit another Daryl. This guy, oh no. There we go, got him. I got the heart. All right, now here's the spinny dudes. I'm going to throw some water balloons and squish them. 
and then get this heart. And then prepare for the final boss. Here's all the Daryls. Ah! There we go. Throwing all these water balloons. Hoping to squish a Daryl or two. Come on. Well, there's one Daryl left, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the star. And I jump, and I get it. Woohoo! All right, guys, I had a lot of fun making this level today. I wanna challenge you guys. Go ahead and make your own level using the glitch throwing water balloons. You can have the glitch throw water balloons at the player, or like me, you can use the glitch as the player character and have the glitch throw water balloons to get through the level. All right, keep on coding, keep on playing. I'll see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below.